this is Samantha Bikeman of Pelucity in Life and Allison May of Say Unisay and also Pelucity in Life. <laughs> and we're here to tell you about your the Find Your Path workshop weekend that's coming up in June. We are so excited. This is going to be a a full weekend of fun from 9 a.m. all the way until 5 p.m. both days. Yep. You're gonna have this beautiful opportunity to check out eight different workshops for about 45 minutes and meet a whole bunch of master teachers, master teachers when you come this weekend. Yep, yep. It's gonna be kind of quite a ride. So if you're just kind of falling into learning more about spirituality or what that means, uh, we have all different types of classes coming. Just kind of meeting and greeting people. Um, between the 10 or so teachers we have, we have over 100 years of experience um, with our particular field. Um, so it's pretty exciting. Um, we're really excited to get together on the sanctuary, which is a beautiful sacred space. It's like you're just in a different place in a different time. So if you're feeling really called, um, I say come and meet us and hang out. Or maybe a dog, so that could happen. That's Twyla. She could... This is really just kind of a, a classes that will really just help you discover what interests you, what piques your interest. Yeah, there's only going to be about 115 spots moving forward, Accurate. and ticket sales do close on June 18th. So about a week before the event starts, ticket sales will close. Then you'll start receiving emails about which classes exactly you'd like to take. So come join us on this journey and watch for more information about the teachers and the classes that are going to be there. Yay! Bye! <laughs> See you in June! Hello there, Allison May of Say and Stay and Pelicity, or Pelucidity, depending on how you pronounce it. I'm so excited to connect with you. I have been a Reiki teacher, so I'll be doing a little bit of intro to Reiki and giving some experience of that and that beautiful, blissful self-healing modality. Uh, also, this beautiful weekend, I will be speaking as uh, a little bit about uh, being a being a channel, um, just open to the universe and the messages and how that's been a part of my life since birth and, and what that's like to live <laughs> as one who kind of communicates with everyone and everything and everywhere, which is really fun. Uh, my awakening started at birth. I've always been a little different and I always just really loved connecting deeply soul to soul with everyone I meet and just love the adventure of this life here on earth school, uh, the challenges, the obstacles, being human is quite an interesting path. I've been running Say Una Stay for a few years now, um, Pelucity, of course, as well. We are really focused on connecting with the communities, allowing each person to learn as needed. My passions are soul Reiki and soul speaking, which I can talk a little bit about that. If you're curious, you can come up and ask me about it. I am a life attunement coach, uh, so I tune into your life just to help and assist and guide and do all the really fun things to help you live your greatest and best life, your most delicious timeline. Taught Reiki for a number of years, uh, both virtual classes and person classes. Uh, so that's really exciting. Um, I just love connecting with humans and animals and the world. And I'm looking really, really, really forward to connecting with you, bring friends, anyone you think that would enjoy this uh, to your new adventure. So thank you. Looking forward to it. Hi. This is Tabby from Belightful Healing. I'm so excited to meet you. I'm looking forward to this weekend so much. I'm gonna be talking about two different topics over the weekend. One is the holistic world and an introduction to it. The terminologies, the modalities, what's available out there. So if you're just getting started, this might be a really great place for you to start. The other thing I'm gonna be talking about is the Akashic Records. Uh, the Akashic can be so overwhelming. There's so much that you can access there. So where do you start and how do you use it to help bring healing to yourself? So that's how we're going to be looking at the Akash. I really hope that I get to meet you. I hope that you get to join one of my classes, but even if you don't, please find me, stop me, say hello, and I look forward to meeting you. Hi, my name is Jared and uh, answering a couple questions for you guys about the upcoming Find Your Path and a little bit about myself. I uh, found my I guess awakening, if you want to call it, probably around the age of 12 or 13 or so when the runes came into my life um, through a series of um, young adult books. 
And ever since then, they really called to me and talked to me, and um, I'd try to shove them out, and they'd always come back in some way. So over the past couple of years, I've dedicated a lot of my time and my life to the runes at this point. And with that, a lot of other awakenings occurred. I'd always found a um, desire to work with uh, herbal medicines and never understood why sometimes they would work and sometimes they wouldn't. And when I got into working in nutrition and dietetics, why they, the herbs would work sometimes for people and why they didn't work for others. And I just always felt there was something missing. And as I discovered spagyrics and herbal alchemy um, a couple years ago, I came into really understanding that you have to work with the whole. And the runes work in a very similar way. And as I picked up the path of heathenry and druidry and found myself working with food as a chef and um, transmuting the elements of grain and yeast and hops and water and changing them into beer, I realized I was more of an alchemist and I am doing these things and making them work for the benefit of others. And as I discovered nutrition, as I worked harder in the dietetics field, I realized that people were hurting themselves and that I had an opportunity to take the things that I'm doing and really offer them healing and to teach them how to work with these ingredients and foods and listen to the energies and the frequencies and the, the voices that they have as they consume them. So that brings us to where we are today. And I'm really looking forward to presenting the classes that um, I'm going to be working with, one of which is listening to plants, listening to the information and intelligence that they have within them to provide us with the medicine that we need. Another class that I'm working with is all about storytelling. So often when we read runes, when we read tarot cards or oracle cards, we have a tendency to read things at face value and we don't necessarily get the whole message across to others, especially when we're using archaic information. You know, nobody's walking around with swords anymore. Nobody's um, is speaking Shakespearean uh, dialect and, and dactylic Beximeter or whatever prose that they're, they're using. And it's important to bring in our own culture, our own mythos and legacies and legends, such as superhero movies and comic books and things like Star Wars and Star Trek and being able to utilize these modals and these new myths and legends to transcend into a reading for people and help them understand it better. And then lastly, is a true passion of mine, is bettering yourself. Bettering yourself, creating your ultimate self by living through the runes. And while it doesn't touch on how to read the runes or anything like that, it introduces you to that spirit. So I'm really looking forward to working with people and helping them find their best selves by living through the runes and the information that they can provide for you. So I look forward to seeing all of you at Find Your Path. Take care. Hi, loves. I am Tiffany Fitzpatrick, and I am one of the instructors in the upcoming Find Your Path weekend workshop, and I am beyond excited. I'm teaching four courses, but before I jump into those, I just want to tell you a little bit about me. I am the foundational strategist, and I help clients help themselves by building sustainable tips on how to strengthen their foundations in the areas of money, mindset, and magic. I do this as a federally licensed financial expert in the United States, as an intuitive tarot reader and gray eclectic witch of more than two decades of experience, and as a trauma-informed shadow work coach. I culminate my expertise in all of these areas to help my clients strengthen their foundations with the goal of not only balancing their existence in the, in the third dimension and the fifth dimension, but also helping them strengthen those foundations so that they feel like they have a strength to move from surviving into thriving. So the courses that I will be teaching is not only an, a beginner's guide to intuitive tarot, so that I will show you how to trust your instincts and begin reading your own cards for yourself and your friends, loved ones, clients, etc. Uh, I'll be culminating my experience of reading tarot for the last more than a decade in order to help you have a leg up as you start your own journey. I'll also be teaching a course on an interactive course on creating a witch's bottle, a protective charm, where you'll get to see a little insight into my magical workings. I'll be teaching a course on a step-by-step -step guide 
to shadow work, a sustainable course that you can then take those steps into your journey, even if we're not working together after the, the course. And then lastly, I'll be teaching an introductory guide on strengthening your foundations, where I will give initial steps that you can start today to strengthen your foundations in money, mindset, and magic. So you're gonna hear a lot about spiritual awakenings from a lot of the other instructors and even people at the, the workshop and maybe even in your own life. I, I did not have a spiritual awakening. I have continued to grow and develop new gifts as well as old gifts, but I have always been awake. I had a very traumatic childhood, uh, not only in the physical three-dimensional world, but also with my gifts and my third eye. And I never really had the ability to set those aside and go to sleep and then rediscover myself as an adult. I experienced some of the negative side the negative energy of the spiritual world and had to learn very, very young how to protect myself, which is why showing others how to protect their energy, develop protective shields is one of my strongest gifts. The modalities that I, that I teach and help others learn, I've all found benefit in my life from being raised in poverty, being laid off, financial devastation, and pulling myself out of all of that, um, as that was something that I grew up in, as well as teaching myself new skills as a solitary practitioner that grew up in a Christian household. Um, I was very much on my own for most of that. And I know what that feels like, which is why I want to help others who don't want to have to be alone in their craft or their awakening or their development within their skills. And the same as, as a shadow worker. The shadow work, the subconscious repatterning that I help clients with, I started with myself. I started with healing my own, my own subconscious, my own trauma, my own childhood pain, and then developing the skills to help others do the exact same thing. And I look forward to meeting you. In June at the festival, I will be doing vision boards. I will be giving everybody an opportunity to create a physical representation of their spiritual journey. This is great to help you set goal on what you're seeking within yourself or what you're seeking out of this journey. Kind of give you a visual representation of what's inside of your heart and your mind out on paper as, a, as if it was a reflection. Um, and this will be a great opportunity to kind of better understand yourself and give you a solidified path as to where you want to go rather than being all up in your head or all up in your heart or what you're wanting and what you're thinking you can and can't do. This is a physical representation on what you create. So my favorite thing about working with others in my field, I think it's amazing. Um, so everybody has their own thing. Um, not their own thing. Obviously, we all kind of blend and there's a gradient in between everybody. Everybody has similarities. But what's so great about the spiritual journeys and just realizing that the entire world is meant for everybody to fill out their own roles and then to work together to create one solidified unit. Um, so whatever, if I'm feeling overwhelmed because I want to learn all these amazing things, that's great, but I don't need to be overwhelmed because other people are learning the things that they're supposed to learn and I'm learning what I'm supposed to learn and together it is exactly what everything is needed and it always, it always works out. Somehow it always works out. <laughs> My spiritual awakening was an intense one this time around. It started right at the new year of January 2021. Um, I had had spiritual awakenings before this, however, not as intense. Uh, I looked things differently, saw them, felt them, tasted differently. Everything was shifted and it was just different. It wasn't like it. I wasn't in the same world anymore, if that makes sense. And at first it was kind of weird, like you kind of want to be like, okay, I'm of Alice in Wonderland. Later down the line, it was, it was just more like how it was supposed to be. Like I felt like I was finally stepping into who I was supposed to be all along, like I've been waiting. And yeah, it's, it's been amazing. It's been amazing these last, this whole last year going into the second year. And I'm super excited to share that journey with everybody and to guide other people who are uh, coming into their own. Hi, I'm Ali and I'm one of the teachers at the Find Your Path weekend. I'm an intuitive psychic reader and healer. I'm an energy weaver, a shadow worker, a Reiki master and a certified soul language healer activator. Um, I also work with the Akashic Records, with Tarot, with crystals. 
um, body presencing, all of the good things. <laughs> in my work, I do my absolute best to offer unconditional safe space, compassion, wisdom, and guidance to all those who are doing the work, those who are on their own healing journey, on the path to self-love, self-acceptance, and self-actualization, really weave together a lot of different modalities that I've kind of picked up on my on my own path um, and my passions are shadow work specifically inner child work spiritual mentorship and divine feminine masculine polarity my passion is really helping people to empower themselves and shine their light and step into their authenticity the classes i'm going to be offering at the find your path weekends um, will be learning from our inner child and learning from our bodies these these two classes will follow similar structures so in the inner child class um, i'll start off by just talking about who our inner child is, what our inner child is, um, how we can connect with them and why their voice is so important in our healing journey. I'll also talk a bit about core wound mantras, which are the negative self-beliefs that we pick up through trauma um, in our early childhood and the ways that they can manifest in our lives as dysfunctional interpersonal relationships, as self-sabotaging behaviours and just blockages to expansion and then I will take you through a guided meditation where you can actually meet that part of yourself meet your inner child connect with them converse with them hear what they have to say and through them start to really tune into what some of your core wound mantras might be and then start to release them and similarly in the body class I'll start off by talking a bit about what our body's divine intelligence is, why it's so powerful and how we can connect with it. And then I'll talk about the Corbyn mantras again, but specifically how they can manifest in our relationships to our bodies, our body image and to food. And then I will lead you through the guided meditation where you can connect with and converse with your body intelligence and again start to tune into what core root mantras you might be holding on to um, that are causing you suffering that are harming you that you're ready to let go of it's my hope that the understanding and the techniques that you gain from these classes will help you to understand yourself more deeply will help you to trust yourself more deeply and of course to love yourself more deeply um, and really just step into your power um, stepping into your power and the knowing that you have everything you need within you as cliche as it might be my favorite thing about working in this field is helping others to step into their authenticity and their power um, helping them to see their own light and their own beauty and really honor that and embrace that and i really think that being seen and accepted in your truth is the most beautiful and healing thing that we can experience as fractals of source um, so it's just such an honor to be able to help facilitate that as for my awakening well i don't think you ever stop awakening once you start <laughs> um, but i would say that my journey has been or at least felt very rapid and very intense i've really been drawn to spirituality for my whole life but i truly kind of woke up when i joined a mediumship circle about six months after starting my own healing journey and i channeled someone's childhood memories for them and a message from their friends who had just died uh, a week before yeah that's when the ball dropped and <laughs> i kind of sat back and i just my whole world kind of imploded around me and um since then i've just completely dived in head first you know just continuing to learn anything and everything I can get my hands on, tuning into what my truth is and how I can honor that. Like what's what's my mission on this planet? What's my mission in this lifetime? And I really think that it is to help other people tune back into and honor their truths. So yeah. Hi, I'm Alison Disler. And I'm Kelly Sage. And we're Kindred Explorers and we're happy to be here joining you. We have been together doing classes in nature, mythology, and astrology here in central Indiana for about a year now. Our idea started on a walk through the woods in southern Indiana, and we've just been together ever since. 
bringing community classes to the area. We have over 30 years of experience co-facilitating and facilitating classes in educational arts and the healing arts. And we look forward to being with you in our classes this summer. We're going to be offering two workshops. One will be centered around our moon signs and how we can receive and learn about nourishment yeah. and satisfaction by exploring more of the information and ideas around our moon. And then we're also going to be centering into the season, looking at the sign of cancer and all of the different things, qualities, traits, ideas that come with that season and how they can um, impact us even if we personally are not cancer. And so you can come in knowing a lot about astrology and nature or a little bit. You can be, we usually teach classes ages 10 and up. Um, so this is a big mission of what we're here to do together to create a community of reciprocal learning and interconnection with the natural world, including the cosmos and astrology. Um, we find that to be an important principle of our work. And as we know, this cancer season, as we're all meeting around the solstice time, it is really about the moon, even though I think we think about it as being a really solar time of the year. Um, so we invite this idea and topic of discovery around nourishment to coincide with the solstice. Um, and we look forward to being with you in those topics. We also have been doing this type of work quite a bit on our own over the years and find that, you know, what has called us to Kindred Explorers, to working together, is because when we're able to integrate things like astrology mm -hmm. and nature into our lives, we actually become stronger, better equipped to handle the challenges I think that life can throw and also to serve our community. They all interconnect which is um, important and we need these guides, we need these tools, this help in order to be able to serve not only ourselves but our community. We look forward to being with you and discovering ways in which we can be together and integrate the guides that surround us into our embodied consciousness and also have some fun along the way, which is a huge important piece of why we're doing this work together too, because growth, discovery, and learning can also be really fun as a sense of adventure. It's true. And so all of our workshops really try to not only incorporate the learning, but a lot of variety in the ways that we learn. So we use art, meditation, the natural world, mythology, as many different pieces of learning modalities that we can in order to make sure that it's a inviting, safe, really encouraging environment for all people and all types of learners. Thank you for your time today. We look forward to sitting with you soon. Take care. I'm Samantha Bikeman. I was a public school teacher for nine years. This was an amazing experience for me. I love working with kids of all ages. And then I just kind of felt like things were getting a little too political in the public school reign, uh, realm. And I decided that I wanted to move into something that spoke to me a little bit more, that felt a little bit more authentic with children. I just really didn't feel like I was able to help families and able to help kids in the way that I had sort of envisioned my life being when I decided to be a teacher. One of the main things for me was I really like working with families as a unit. And so I decided to create my own tutoring business called Majestic Unicorn Tutoring. And through that, I've met so many beautiful families. It's pushed me into learning Reiki and a bunch of other spirituality modalities. And I've just kind of been led on this path. But for me, when I first started, I didn't know where to go. I didn't have anyone. I didn't know who to ask questions to. And it really wasn't until I went to Reiki and I met Allison May and I met so many people through her that I really started to feel confident and safe and happy in who I was as a person. So that's why all the things that I do are so important to me. That's why I want to do this is to connect families, to connect children, connect people to other people who are like-minded, who will make them feel safe and heard and understood. My class that I'm gonna be teaching is goal setting and prioritization. That is just um, basically what I do for most people is I take their ideas that are living in the 5D and I help them ground them and bring them down to the 3D. So that could look like teaching you scheduling. It could um, teach you like what your top priorities need to be. It could look like me helping you set up a website. Um, but for this workshop in particular, what I really, really wanna do is just get you in the space to really think about what you want out of your life 
and what dreams you really want to see come to fruition. And I'm going to teach you how to walk through that process that I use with my clients all the time. I can't wait to see you there in June. Bye.